Welcome to another session of Physics of the Impossible. Today we'll be finding the magnetic moment of a bar magnet using the Helmholtz coil. Today we'll have Sydney to assist us in our lab. Sydney? Okay, so first we'll be using this Pascal's magnetic field sensor to find the magnetic field through the coils at a maximum current of 2 amps. 0.2 amps. Okay. All right. Let's review the data. Okay, we have found the magnetic field to be 1.95 to the negative fourth Tesla. Next, we're going to find the angular frequency at current 0 0.04 amps. Okay. First, we need to find the period at which the magnet takes to complete five complete oscillations. Here we go. One oscillation. oscillation three oscillation four oscillation We'll be finding the period at 0 0.08 amps. So this towards the magnet. Find the oscillation. And start. One oscillation. oscillations three oscillations four oscillations Next, we will be finding the period at 0.12 amps. Let's just do it tonight. Start. Two oscillation. Three oscillations. Four oscillation. Stop. Well, now to find the period at point one six amps. Four oscillation. And 
start. Long oscillation. Two oscillation. Oscillation. Four oscillation. Yes. Uh, we will find the period at point two zero M. Ready? And go. Start. Faster. One oscillation. Two oscillation. Three oscillations. Four oscillations. Stop. We have found the period. We we'll plot the graph angular frequency squared, which is given by the equation 2 pi over t squared versus the current. By plotting the points, we have found the slope to be 20.48. Next, my friends and friendettes, we need to find the moment of inertia of the magnet, and we can find it by using the next equation i equals m over 12 times height square plus width square. Now, our mass is equals to 0 0.0454 kilograms. Our height is equals to seven times 10 to the negative four meters. Our width is equals to 1.4 times 10 to the negative three meters. That we have find our values, we need to input them into our equation. So, I equals 0 0.0454 kilograms divided by 12 times 7 times 10 to the negative 4 meters Q squared plus 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 meters squared. Now, when we calculate this equation, our I our inertia will equals to 9.27 times 10 to the negative 6 kilograms times meter square. The moment of inertia and the slope, we can go ahead and find the magnetic moment of the magnet. Now this is given by the equation mu equals 0 0.2 times the inertia moment times the slope divided by the magnetic field. Now the values for these, for, now the values for the moment of inertia that we just saw is equals to 9.27 times 10 to the negative six kilograms times meter square. And for our magnetic field, it's equals to 1.9 times 10 to the negative four Tesla. So, is equals to 20.45. Now we're going to input them into our equation to find their mean. So 0 0.2 times 9.27 times 10 to the negative 6 kilograms times meter squared times 20.45 divided by 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4. Our final value for mu is equals to 0 0.2 nanometers divided by t.